every Tuesday morning at 9 a.m. We get to sit right here in our podcasting studio now. It's just a small room in our office where we record our Coffee Break podcast. And it has been so exciting to be able to connect with folks in our area, in Charlotte, North Carolina, and across the country, and even into Canada, to be able to learn, grow, and develop our business. And we're at the same time sharing those ideas with you as we record them every single week. Here's some highlights from some of the guests that we've had right here on the Coffee Break Podcast. The, the irony there is there's no one but yourself. Yeah. So you're exactly right. I could I could say, you know, screw it. And, and there were plenty of times I did. Yeah. But then you can't sleep at night because you know you quit and, and we're not quitters. There are people who are. There are people who are okay with quitting, but not me. I'm built differently. Yeah. So it would keep me up. I would cut the grass. Yes. By myself, I cut the grass. I would do the laundry. I would clean the entire house just so I didn't have to open that laptop. <laughs> <laughs> I'd look at the laptop and it would be like me and the laptop at war. And I'm like, I don't want to open you. But and I would say one key thing is make people feel like you're bringing them along in the process as opposed to this is what's been pushed down and you got to do this. If you can bring them along in the process and have them be part of it and still open to tweaks along the way, yeah, that's that's a beautiful thing. And I look back and I say, you know what? I didn't shape my future. I chose habits that shape my future. Mm. It's a big difference. You choose habits, and those habits, I look back now and I'm like, those daily habits are what shape my future. And my daily habits today will shape my future gone going. It doesn't stop. And I, you know, have this acronym for it that AIM, A I M. So uh, it's analyze, implement, modify. Um, those are kind of the three stages I go through, and it, it always begins with with chart it out, write it down, get a picture in your head. How does my workflow work? What does it currently? How does it currently work? Uh, how much does a polar bear weigh? A polar bear weigh well depends. Are we talking North Antarctica or like the? lower southwestern region. So if you talk southwestern region, they're larger, they're about 1.3 tons. North Antarctica, typically they're smaller. Uh, so it's more like a, you know, more like a black bear, like a smaller, slightly smaller version black bear that are about, I'd say eight to 900 nice. pounds. Everyone that's, everyone that's listening to this, um, you know, the uh, it's always this, the same mindset, exactly what Chad just said is, that, well, you know, where do we start, right? Oh, well, we got to have clean data first, right? That's it. And it does not matter to start with. Start something. Yeah. One of the things that we... Uh, I think that applies really not just to winning, but really anything you're doing in your business. I mean, yeah. One thing that I think I originally struggled with and still struggle with is I try to have something perfect before I start it. In business in general, that's really great advice is to just start somewhere because if that's better than nothing. <laughs> well, I think if I look at the long arc, when we started in this business, and I started out originally as the chief technology officer, so I was very closely aligned with the product. I thought product was everything. You know, make the right product, and you know the world will beat a path to your door. And of course, um, a lot of great products have been created without that happening. And so, I think the the final unifying thing is um, understanding why people come to work and what their their motivations are, and making sure that you're addressing those. And I think if you take care of those, which is um, another way of saying getting the culture right, then all of those other things that you're trying to do follow from that. So we'd love to have you a part of the Coffee Break podcast. Please make sure you visit lockdoc.net slash podcast. You can subscribe there. You can listen to all the episodes there and see what's going on. We have it in audio and video format, and we record it live every week on Facebook and YouTube, so you can be a part of the discussion every single week. We love to hear your comments and feedback, and if you'd like to be a guest on our podcast, shoot us a message, lockdoc.net slash podcast. Look forward to seeing you there.